I wander to places beyond imaginings. Far from the jungles of my youth. My knowledge has grown vast. The people, they think me banished. Shunned to the end of my days. They say I defy the spirits. But I say no. I follow them. The spirits show me alone that the skyfire is where the end begins. They say this must not be. I live to serve the spirits. So I go. There is none but me to answer the call. Hi guys, Vuxin here. This is my second attempt to record a playthrough of Diablo 3. I wasn't happy with the first one, so I deleted it. That's what I tend to do. Yeah, Diablo 3. I played Diablo 1. I really enjoyed it, but um, that's, I think, longer than 10 years from now. I really don't remember it, but the feel to it is kind of similar. So I really like the, the grim and dark side of it. I um, played through this game already with my barbarian and uh, with a witch doctor in co-op. No, uh, not a witch doctor, a demon hunter, sorry. The spirits tell me. Um, yeah, so I, I know the game, but I assume you don't. So I will leave the cinematics in. And I put subtitles on so you can read, because often I will be talking over some of the parts. So yeah, I played a demon hunter and a barbarian. And uh, from my playstyle, I often get to play melees. But we'll see how it goes with the witch doctor. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. So, what I really don't like... You can see, if you go to the options and gameplay, I have checked a lot of these boxes. And uh, this one here, Elective Mode. This one is, in my opinion, the most important one, because it lets you assign skills that otherwise would be quite fixed. You'd have um, a choice of about three skills. You can see here uh, for primary, for this category there are four, for secondary four, defensive four, terror three and so on. But um, what elective mode does it is it lets you assign um, most of these to any of your skills. So, um, you can pretty much choose whatever you want. And uh, I found out that's incredibly useful. For many but, years, uh, <laughs> too afraid to I found it out uh, after my first Diablo kill, Tristram. actually. But so, been under yeah. siege for six days the game now. got Uncle Deckard is still a lot missing. easier when Captain I found Rumford out. Captain and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose hope. You are Leah. The captain says they shouldn't have hidden it staff. so much. Did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but watch out! The wounded are turning. My power grows fast. And I think uh, the game is a bit too easy on on normal, which you start. Dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. There is a deep sickness here, but it can be healed. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. So yeah, this is a slow ability I found out. We see how useful all these skills get. Um, pretty much all of the skills 
which I found uh, depend on weapon damage. And um, weirdly, you can equip, I think, all of the weapons with uh, every class. So it's quite nice. There are some items which are restricted to certain classes, but How can I help to fight the those race? are not many. And uh, I your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered. It's not that it would be a pole arm assigned to only barbarian, but there I are pole arms honest. which can only be well, I have seen you fight. worn by Strike barbarians, for example. And, their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're and yeah, the, the primary stat for this class is intellect. Or intelligence, as it's called. So I will be trying put on a lot of those and uh, I will see if I need any life. That's one of the wretched mothers. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the that I will get the minions and mothers they probably could take me. the damage from they are the remnants of we'll Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaids I will who were probably discover most magic. of this now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate Although them as newly formed I really do not dead. need um, all the gold and stuff because uh, I can play through a nightmare and get a lot more gold that way and gold um, goes along your account, so you'll see I have about 100,000 gold right now, and that's from my other characters. Needs more time. I will never forget the first time I saw these horrors shambling out of the misty woods. Our loved ones, buried long ago, rose from their graves and began to attack the living. However, the risen dead were only the beginning. What a wall. A nest is nearby. It already seems like I would need some health. This character is quite squishy. Let me see when, when I unlock the other skills. Yeah, at level 4 you see, I get some pets. And always loot the corpses. Very important to the Diablo. Loot everything. It's a very big part of the game. Looting and leveling. And probably crafting. Crafting as well is, is a big part of this game. And I really do like how they made the crafting. <laughs> Very nice effect. So, is it one hand? Yes, can I equip another one? No. That's what I use mostly for my barbarian, two one-handers. I could probably show you some gameplay with him sometime. If you're interested. And uh, the nightmare difficulty is... is really a lot harder. I found out for uh, single player at least in in co-op it's it's quite easy it's pretty much the same as uh, the first run but only for for ranged attackers so um, we have one monk a friend of mine and uh, a sorcerer and me as a demon hunter in that run and. I as a demon hunter have I, I just stay in the back and keep shooting. There's pretty much no danger for me, so uh, you have to to go out of AoE abilities quite a lot on nightmare. 
but uh, most of the AOE effects are in melee range. The spirits so smile upon no problem for me there. A bit too easy, I find. But um, I focus totally on dexterity in that run. <laughs> I have. I have about 2,000 life with my Barbarian, I already have uh, 8k, I think, yeah, and you need that. It's a huge difference for melees and ranged. You can evade most of the attacks as range. If you try to. On normal, I tend not to do that. Because you survive most of it and in the emergency case you can use a health potion. Often you find yourself um, traveling through dungeons in this one. Some of them are small, like uh, these first ones. Some of them are really big and have uh, more different layers. But they're all randomly generated. There are some passages you'll recognize always if you play um, one certain type, like this cave. Um, Looks pretty much the same always. But uh, in the later game you have really huge dungeons. And uh, because they're all different you can't really really uh, see the only way and you tend to explore a lot. I know that could be a problem for this run because it's, it's not that entertaining but... Um, it's quite good to find items in rare bosses, lore logs, stuff like that. So I can use a bow, that's good to know. We'll see how that goes. Because it's... It, it is all based on weapon damage, so um, if you have a high weapon damage for your bow, it increases your damage for your abilities, which is quite nice. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. And excuse me if I if I don't talk much or if I pause sometimes. I'm not a native English speaker, so excuse me for that. Still kind of rusty in the language. I do study now and I have English, but you don't learn a lot from that. You have to go to English native speaking land. The abilities are quite nice looking. City crumbling apart. That's the first 
quest done. Always explore. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. I've got some got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. You know it's not polite to go through a...